Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're diving into the latest tech and gaming news, from Ryzen 9 800 X3D tests and Padroni innovative gadget, to Nvidia's first CPU and gaming updates. All this and more coming up, so stay tuned on Edge Runners. First up, let's talk about Ryzen 9 800 X3D performance results. The Hardware Unboxed recently published an independent review of the new 8-core Ryzen 9 800 X3D processor. The team tested the CPU in 14 popular games at Full HD and compared its performance to the Ryzen 9 700X, Ryzen 7 800 X3D, and Intel Core 14900K. The review began with synthetic and workload tests, where the Ryzen 9 800 X3D showed performance similar to the Intel Core 12900K. In Adobe applications, it even competed on par with the Core 14900K. The real highlight came in gaming. The Ryzen 9 800X 3D outperformed all existing Intel and AMD processors in testing across 14 titles at full HD. The new processor was 30% faster than the Ryzen 9 700X and 28% more powerful than the Core 14900K. When compared to its direct predecessor, the Ryzen 7 800X 3D, the Ryzen 9 800X 3D showed an average generation performance boost of around 11%. Additionally, users can unlock a bit more performance with Precision Boost Overdrive, which increases the frame rate by 2 to 4%. The Ryzen 9 800X 3D also boasts a great price to performance ratio, significantly outperforming the Ryzen 7 800X 3D and Core 14900K in terms of cost per FPS. Would you upgrade to the 9800X 3D if you already have a high-end CPU? Share your thoughts in the comments. Next, let's shift gears to an innovative gadget that could change how we interact with our tech. Swiss startup Padroni has unveiled the Padroni Premiera Ring, a product they've developed over the past decade. This ring is equipped with a six-axis motion sensor, a camera, and a microprocessor, allowing users to control their computers using simple finger movements. It can detect the position of your finger on a tabletop and track its movements, effectively turning your finger into a large touchpad. With the data processing happening within the ring, users can maintain their privacy while interacting with their devices. Imagine this, moving your finger glides the cursor across the screen and tapping the surface simulates a left click. This could be a game changer for accessibility, especially for those who might struggle with traditional input devices. The ring is compatible with all Bluetooth enabled computers and tablets. Although it's not available for immediate purchase yet, you can pre-order it for 259 euros. This price point might make it appealing for early adopters and tech enthusiasts looking to streamline their workspace. What do you think about the Padrone Primera ring? Is this the future? of computer control or is it just a gimmick? Let's hear your thoughts below. Now for some major industry news that could reshape the tech landscape. According to reports from Tech Power Up, companies like Samsung, Apple, and Qualcomm are reportedly considering acquiring Intel. This is intriguing, especially considering that all three companies already have licenses for ARM technology. Intel has been facing serious challenges recently. Its stock price has plummeted, losing nearly half of its market cap in 2024 alone. An acquisition by any of these tech giants could significantly alter the semiconductor industry landscape, offering them a major foothold in x86 architecture while diversifying their product offerings. Interestingly, Samsung stands out as a South Korean tech giant in this mix. There's precedent for major American firms being acquired by Korean companies, like Hyundai's acquisition of Boston Dynamics, which shows that these international dynamics can lead to exciting developments in the tech world. What do you think about these potential acquisitions? Would this be a smart move for any of these companies? Share your thoughts with us. BioWare has recently shared its plans for the future of its latest RPG, Dragon Age The Valgard. Despite receiving positive reviews with an 82 out of 100 on OpenCritic and hitting a peak of 84,422 concurrent players on Steam, BioWare has decided to end content support for the game. In an interview with Rolling Stone, creative director John Ebler revealed that the team has shifted its focus entirely to developing the next installment of the Mass Effect series. This decision highlights the challenges of balancing ongoing support for a successful game with the need to innovate and push forward with new projects. Asus, MSI, and ASRock are gearing up to release budget motherboards based on the B800 chipsets for Intel and AMD. Currently, only high-end models are available, but these new motherboards are expected to launch in early 2025. All three manufacturers have begun registering these products with regulators, indicating imminent availability. Asus has already certified several B850 motherboards, while MSI and ASRock are also making strides with their offerings. On another note, Asus announced the release of latest Ageza firmware for 
all AM5 socket motherboards. This firmware update is designed to optimize performance for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9 800X 3D processor and introduces an all new feature called Turbo Game Mode. Asus hasn't shared much about how this feature works, but it's believed to boost gaming performance on Ryzen chips. Analysts speculate it might achieve these improvements by deactivating one of the processor's CCD chiplets or even by disabling SMT, similar to Gigabyte's X3D Turbo Mode. It's a pretty big deal for Asus users gearing up for the new Ryzen lineup. On the AMD front, we have some leaks courtesy of Moore's Law is Dead. AMD is preparing to unveil its Strix Halo hybrid processors, which have officially been branded as Ryzen AI 300 Max Pro. These CPUs will feature some pretty powerful specs, including up to 16 CPU cores and 40 RDNA 3.5 compute units. AMD is positioning these chips to deliver a level of graphics power that rivals a mobile GeForce RTX 4070. These chips will support LPDDR5X8533 memory and will have a thermal design power of up to 120 watts, making them ideal for high-performance laptops aimed at both professionals and gamers. AMD is expected to officially unveil the Strix Halo lineup at CES 2025, with the first laptops featuring these processors hitting shelves in the first quarter of the year. For those needing powerhouse laptops, AMD has configurations supporting up to 64GB RAM, and even models with 128GB for high-end gaming or professional use should arrive by quarter two. In gaming tech news, AMD is stepping up its image scaling game with the release of FSR 4 for the first-person shooter Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This marks the first implementation of FSR 4, a machine learning powered upscaler designed to enhance in-game visuals and frame rates. FSR 4 brings AI-driven improvements not only to the graphics quality, but also includes a next-gen frame generator. However, AMD hasn't yet revealed specific frame rate boosts or detailed metrics. It's safe to say though that we can expect smoother gameplay and and better visuals in this latest Call of Duty title, which launched on October 25th. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is available on all major platforms, including PC, PS4, PS5, and the Xbox Series consoles. So keep an eye out for how this new upscaling tech from AMD will look on your system. Finally, we might be witnessing the end of the AMD Intel duopoly in the PC processor market. Nvidia is making a bold move into this space with its first ever ARM-based PC processor, expected to hit the market as early as September 2025. Nvidia's new processor could disrupt the status quo by challenging x86 architecture, which has long been dominated by Intel and AMD. Nvidia has reportedly partnered with MediaTek, leveraging their experience with SoCs in the mobile sector to enter the PC market. If Nvidia can pull this off, we could see an ARM-based CPU-GPU combo with performance on par with today's top gaming PCs. Compatibility with games will be a major hurdle, but with Nvidia's close ties to developers, it's definitely possible. This isn't Nvidia's first attempt at entering the PC market. They previously developed Tegra processors, which didn't see widespread adoption. But with the rising demand for AI-optimized hardware, this time Nvidia's ARM-based chips could very well be here to stay. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Would you upgrade to the 9800X3D if you already have a high-end CPU? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.